How you doing, family? My name is Mutwana. Uh, Mutwana Wabantu. Let's get started. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. So now, uh, look, uh, we have a question right here. They say Mikael, but uh, before we get started, I need to tell, uh, I need to send shout out to students who send me this question, right? So this question comes straight from Mputi Lindokuse. She comes from, she comes straight away from, uh, uh, from, uh, Katejo, Gauteng means in South Africa, in the north, Katejo, uh, Gauteng. You can see, hey, Mutwana, thanks a lot. You know, we appreciate what you're helping us. We love you, man. Kate, I'm putty, Lindo Kuse, from Katejo, Gauteng. I want to say thank you, too, you know. Uh, I appreciate you know. Uh, so I'm going to respond to your question without further ado. Let's get started. So now, this is Mikael. Mikael. Mikael has a budget. So what is a budget? This is a budget here. So she want to purchase what? Paper bags. Paper bags, books, and hardcover for classmates. Oh, she want to purchase two things. So now, let me show you how to do this type of constraint. This type of question called constraints. Excuse me, sorry. Sorry, my polish. I drink a lot of water. Look. Okay. So now, look. I'm going to show you how to draw a little table. Okay, look. You have a little table here. You draw your little table because this is what's gonna save you in this type of equation. But I'll show you how to. The last one, right total here, total. And then here, what information we have? They say let P represent what number of paper books. Oh, so this can be P here. Let's say paper books and then P, paper books. Paper books, let's say paper B, which will represent using uh, which one? Or represent using P, so which is P. And the next one we're going to present using H, which is cover, hard cover. So let's say cover, hard cover. Okay. So now let's go to the information here. Okay. We don't want to uh, skip any information. So let's see here, uh, Katero, she has a 3,000, 3,900, 3,900. She want to purchase two things, but look, uh, read carefully here. She won number of hard cover to be five more oh so hard cover is going to be bigger so what represent hard cover h so i'm going to say h minus because you say i want me to be more than you means i'm bigger that's all minus so it's going to be bigger must be five more than the three okay oh so this when you subtract them two so the other one is going to be what's going to be three times the number of paperwork what is paperwork paperwork uh paper uh three more than the paper books what are the paper books? The paper books represent using what using P. So if I say more than you means I take me minus you. So minus three times paper books. But how did I say? It must be then she won the number of the hardcover to be at least. So what is at least? At least you represent using this letter here. But which number they say at least what? Five. Let me explain to you something quick, quick in one minute about least. No, just two seconds, three seconds. So that's what we have here. That's a basic question we have. Why you say at least and then you write that sign which is bigger? Look, if somebody say for you to watch this session here, you need to have at least one gigabyte. What does that mean? Means it could either be one gig or more. Means one or more than gigabyte. At least. You see what I'm saying? You want to buy this? You need to have at least, you want to buy this sharpener? You need to have at least one dollar or one rent or one shilling. Means not less than that. Means bigger than at least. That's what I say. At least three times number, whatever they say. Oh, at least. That's why I use this sign here. See what I'm saying? And the reason minus because they say this is bigger than the other one. But which one is bigger? H. Now we're done with it. Now, but when you say at most, we use other sign now. But at least the same as say we say at least at minimum at smallest is the same thing and we represent using that letter so in reverse process if you reverse the process means for example when you say at most at maximum at biggest means you're going to use other sign other one see what i'm saying easy like that see so now let's go to the question. So this is the first question that we got. Now let's come to the information. They say, uh, now, 
they say low. Okay, now let's go. So let's go. The paper books. What is the paper books? The paper books are business P. The paper books cost this amount. Oh, paper books is cost oh, six five amount. Six to five, but they say for each. So if one is sixty-five and P represent number of paper books and only one is sixty-five, so we don't know how many of them they bought. So I'm gonna say one is sixty-five, but I don't know how many of them. So I'm gonna say sixty-five times P. See, you understand? Because they say represent number of paper books, but each one is sixty-five. So to know how many of them, how much it costs for all of them. Take 65 for each paper book come multiplied by number of them that you're gonna have. So it's gonna be 65p. Now let's go for the other one. The other one they're gonna say is gonna represent by 130, which is cover books. So it's gonna be 130 H. But remember, all of these, their total is 3900. 3, 900, 0, 0. But look. So there is no way the sum of this is going to be more than this amount because whatever you're going to have this number, this number, your budget is only 3,900. So the total of these two can never be more than that. So we're going to say that side means the sum of these two can never be more than that. So that's all. So what we're going to do here, we're going to solve it. So we have a face equation and we have another equation. So we can solve these two equations. So face and another thing, you need to have a condition. Which condition? Condition for inequality for now is P and H or H and P. See, but a P since the face on rip is like X because the face thing is X in any inequality or Cartesian plane is X. So see, X and Y. So this meaning P must be greater than zero and H must be greater than zero. So the three inequality that you have, we can write them aside. See what I'm saying? So we have a face equation another equation and another equation so we can write these aside here and say okay so now for that case now our equation uh, the first one is going to be h minus 3p greater equal to 5 that one is what is uh 65p 131 but we can divide by 65 throughout here divide by 65 but because it's common divided by 65 this and this is going to cancel it's going to be just a p plus plus how many is 5 and 132 but what h and then less than if you take all of this divided by 65 it's going to give you uh 60. oh so and then you say but i can switch this when you say uh p plus h is the same p so i can say 2h plus p so it can be like h and h p and p so i can say 2h plus p here because it's plus so you can just switch 2h plus p the last one p is greater or equal to zero and h is greater or equal to zero so that's how you do. Make sure you show all the solution in the exam. But for now, we want to get space. So, so you're done already. So what we're going to do now, we're going to draw the graph. See? Let's draw the graph for this. See? Let's draw the graph. So we're going to say, let's come here. So this is our Cartesian plane. Oh, man. That's so very small. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So we're going to say, let's draw. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Let me write all of these here. And then I'm gonna remove that so to have a space, and then I can draw there. Okay, so let's write all this equation. Say h minus three sortable there. Uh, let's go to five, so I can have a space here, and then two h, two h plus p, less equal to sixty. The last one p greater equal to zero, and h greater equal to zero. Okay, so I can just remove all of this stuff because I don't need them, right? Now, cool. We got it. So let's come and move this. Let's say move. See now I got space. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. This one has to go. Sorry by mistake. Okay, cool. So we're here. So now let's draw a graph now. So I'm gonna see. Sorry. Okay. And then, and then we come here. So we're gonna to have to represent all this information in the graph. Now we go. Let's start with this one first. When x is intercept, x is like p, right? And this is h, y. When x is intercept, when p is intercept, we know this can be zero. So this can be zero. So when 
P is intercept which is X means Y is going to be equal to zero. So P equal to 60. So it's going to cut to 60. Let's say this is 60. Now, when P is intercept, when H is intercept, P equal to zero means this is going to be zero. So 2H equal to 60. It's like say 2H equal to 60 divided by 2 divided by 2. This and this cancel. So H equal to 30. Oh, so somewhere here. So we can just uh, join those two points. Say, okay, so let's join straight line. Okay, so this is for this equation. See, another thing. We go for this one now. We we'll play the same game. When P is intercept, but what is P? P is like X. When P intercept, H equal to zero. So it's going to be negative three. This is like negative three P greater equal to five. But don't worry about this one. So divide by negative three, divide by negative three. This is this concept. So P equal to, don't worry, it's going to be negative, mm, negative 1.8. Okay, so somewhere here. See, somewhere here. Okay, so that's going to be like P, negative 1.8, like 1.8. Okay, now, so we want to get H, where it's going to cut at H. When H is the set, P equal to 0, so H equal to 5. So, uh, man, this is third, right? So 5, it could be somewhere here. So this is like negative, okay, I'm going to calculate. Sorry. Uh, 5 divided by negative 3, sort of both family. How about divided by negative 3, 5, 5, divided by negative 3, 5 by negative 3. So it's like uh, 5 divided by negative 3, like negative one point. Six 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 six. Okay, so that's like negative one point six six six. It's like repeating decimal. So six 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 seven in other way. Okay, cool. Got it. So then we're gonna say uh, this is gonna be negative. I was wrong. It's not negative one point eight. My apology. Negative one point six six six. That was wrong. Negative one point six 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 seven. It's like negative one point six seven. Okay. Now, when h is intercept means. This is going to be equal to 0, so h equal to 5. It's going to cut here at 5. So this is going to be like, let me, let me raise it. Because we just find the intercept here, 5. See what I'm saying? So this is for this line here, h minus 3p equal to 5, or greater equal to 5, okay? And this other one is for this. So what we're going to do now, we want to find where we're going to shade. So to shade is simple. What you do, uh, Let's start with this line here, which is this one. Uh, 2H plus P is less equal to 6. Is, let me write here. 2H. 2H, uh, right here. Okay. 2H plus P less equal to 6. So what you do, take any point below the line and point above the line and see where it's true. This is our line, right, for this equation. So let's take, you see, this is our line for this equation. Let's take any point below the line. For example, 0, 0, 0, 0 is below the line. Now, h equal to 0, 2 times 0 equal to 0 plus, and this is going to be 0, and this 60. Is 0 plus 0 equal to 0? 60. Is 0 less than 60? Yes, it's true. So if it's true, it means we shade this way. Uh, no, no, let me use other color. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry, just, just a second, just a second. Okay, let's use another color completely, okay. So we say it's true, so it means we're going to share, let's use the green, for example. It's true. Now, so we're going to go for another line, which is this one. So we take a point above and below, any point above or below. Let's take below. So this is our line, right? So below, it could be 0, 0. Also, it could be below or above. Any point above or below. I decide to pick it below. Zero, zero. So that one is going to be for this equation, another another equation. Okay, which is what is uh, H minus 3p uh, greater or equal to 5 greater or equal to 5 now so 0 0 is going to be 0 minus 3 times 0 equal to 0 is 0 greater or equal to 5 sorry no 0 is not bigger than 5 so we cannot shade down we're going to have to shade on top so what you look now between these two graph look the region whereby the two lines intersect the region where the two lines intersect, but which region is there? Look, if you can look careful, I want to use a different color here completely. Let's say 
Mm, which color should I use? I can see. Okay, so you see this region here. This is a region where the two lines intersect. Because if you can look here on top, for example, here is like only one line. See, here is only one line. Here is like one line. But here is where the two intersect. Look, this one going up and this one going this. So this is the only region where they intersect. So you have to draw your graph and then only take this region. These are the stuff leave it. So now I'm going to, we're going to say, I don't need this. And I don't need this. And I don't need this. And I don't need this. That's all I need. Even this one also I don't need. Sorry. This green line here I don't need. Okay. So that's what I need. And that's my equation. You see what I'm saying? And then, uh, so we're going to have to write everything here. So finally, uh, this is what we have. See what I'm saying? And you can see all the coordinates. This one, this is negative 30. Where they intersect, see that region now? That's your final answer. So look, some of you may be new in this program. So if you're new, please, my family, just come here, subscribe. You know, subscribe there if you face time. And uh, uh, put it in the I hope I respond to your question. If you face time, subscribe and share this video to your friends so they can also benefit. Like I say, you face time here, man. You see, man, I just do this for my heart. So, you know, you guys can benefit as well. We have drawn the graph. And this is the actual, sorry, sorry. And this is, see, and this, our final graph, just like how you saw it here, okay? So thanks a lot of your time. Subscribe, share this video. People, peace and I'm out.